Okay, let's quickly cover Nagel's rule. Nagel's rule is going to be figuring out when we're going to have our estimated delivery date. And this is going to be based on the woman's last menstrual period. And an important note for this is going to be, this is going to be based off the first day of her last menstrual period. If she started menstruating on a Monday, we would count from that Monday. So it's going to be the very first day of her last period. Now, it's got a, got a formula to it. Really, you just add a year, subtract three months, add seven days. So add a year, subtract three months, and then add seven days. Now, when are we adding this to? This will all be based on the very first day of her last menstrual period. So this takes into account a 28-week cycle. You know, not all women have a 28-week cycle. And then it also is going to account for the fact that uh, a typical pregnancy is going to be 280 days. That equates to 40 weeks. So those are our assumptions. Our assumptions are uh, the woman has a typical 28-week cycle, meaning on day 14 she's going to have the LH surge, uh, releasing the egg. And then also taking into the fact for our estimated date of delivery um, that the deliver the pregnancy will last 280 days or 40 weeks. So we use this formula. So we ask the woman in our history. We say when is the last? When was your last period? Oh, it was two weeks ago. What day did you first uh, start menstruating? Oh, I think it was on a Monday. So we had to use that Monday as the first day, and then do the formula. Now, I'm going to come down here to, uh, to an example, um, but also I want to note prior to that, it doesn't measure the date of conception. So remember, the date of conception is that 14 day in, in the woman's cycle, day 14 when the LH surge happens, and that's when the egg is released, the egg and the sperm meeting, that is going to be our date of conception. That's not going to be the date that we're basing it off of. We're going to be date, basing it off of the first day of her last menstrual period. So an important rule, uh, Nagel's rule does not measure conception. So let's move down here to a quick example. Why did I choose February 14th? Um, I feel like a lot of children get, get uh, born on this day. Um, hopefully you understand why. So I asked the woman, she's pregnant. She comes into my office with an HCG level that's elevated, uh, 48 hours, it's doubled. I say, congratulations, you are pregnant. She probably already knows it because she's missed a period. I say, when was the very first day of your last period? She says, oh, I think it was February 14th, 2013. And I say, I think you're going to have your baby on. Oh, I need to figure this out. So let's use Nagel's rule. Nagel's rule is going to use the formula plus one year. So February 14th again. I'm not taking into effect uh, leap year. Don't get me on the details. 2014. So that's our plus a year. Now we need to subtract three months. So January, December, November. So November 14th, 2013. Because I just transitioned from 2013 to 2014, I subtracted three months. Now I'm back in 2013 again. But now we get November, subtracted three months. Now we need to add seven days. So we're at November 21st, 2013. If you're born around November 21st, 2013, I think Valentine's Day was a very frisky day for your parents. However, this is going to be the estimated. All right, I got cut off there. So November 21st is going to be our estimated date of delivery. Based off of Nagel's rule, we're assuming that 280-day pregnancy. We're also assuming a normal cycle that the woman had, so a 28-day cycle, meaning that day 14 is when the egg got released. Here is going to be our estimated date of delivery.